Welcome back to the class on electrical machines. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the numericals on a synchronous motor. Now, let me take the first numerical. A 2.3 kilo volt three phase star connected synchronous motor has a synchronous impedance of 0.2 plus J 2.2 ohms per phase. The motor is operating at a 0.5 power factor leading with a line current of 200 amperes. Determine the generated EMF per phase. The line current is given that is I equal to 200 amperes. First you have to find out the per phase voltage. Line voltage divided by root 3. You are getting the 1328 volt. Next you have to find out the internal angle. Theta equal to tan inverse excess by RA. Excess value is given 2.2. RA value is given in the numerical 0.2. Substitute those values we are getting the 84.8 degrees. Next power factor also given 0.5 power factor leading cos pi equal to 0.5 so pi equal to 60 degrees. If you draw the phasor diagram this is the V this is the E in the numerical it is given that 0.5 power factor leading nothing but the magnitude of E is greater than the V. So the angle between the ER and I this is I that is 84.8 degrees this is theta this is constant another name for this angle is the internal angle the power factor is given that is 60 degrees now we have to find out the length of this vector so this is equal to E nothing but a generated voltage or back EMF or counter voltage in a synchronous motor so we should know the length of the V as well as ER so ER equal to the synchronous impedance per phase ZS equal to square root of x square plus R S square we are getting the value 2.209 ER equal to I into ZS per phase voltage nothing but a resultant voltage that is equal to 441.8 volts now we know the value of this ER and V and apply the Palagra theorem to find the resultant voltage this vector we are getting the E equal to square root of V square plus ER square minus 2 V E R cos this is pi this is theta substitute all the values we are getting the 1908 volts now take up the second numerical a 75 kilowatt 400 volts 4 volts star connected synchronous motor has a resistance and reactance per phase 0 0.04 ohm and 0 0.4 ohm respectively compute for full load 0.8 power factor lagging the open circuit voltage per phase and gross mechanical power develop assuming the efficiency 92.5 percent so this is the rating of the motor so whenever the power rating is given means that is output power only efficiency is given so we can easily find out the input power of a motor so input power of a motor equal to output power divided by the efficiency you are getting the 81.081 kilowatt now we are going to find out the current current equal to motor input power divided by root 3 vl cos pi substitute all the values we are getting the 146.3 ampere now we are going to find the per phase voltage so it is a star connected the voltage which is given in the numerical that is 400 per phase voltage becomes a 400 by root 3 we are getting the 231 volts next resultant voltage here equal to i into zs so we know the value of i and zs also substitute these values we are getting the 58.81 volts next internal phase angle that is theta theta equal to tan inverse excess by ra substitute the values excess and ra is given in the numerical we are getting the 84.3 degrees now we are going to draw the phasor diagram this is the applied voltage v this is counter voltage E, nothing but induced voltage in a synchronous motor. The resultant of these two is the ER. This is equal to I into ZS. In this case, the current lags the voltage by 0.8 power factor lagging. So, we are getting the angle 36.8 degrees. The angle between the ER and I, 84.3 degrees. Already we calculated this angle. That is the internal angle. Now, we are going to apply the Palagra theorem for these three vectors. To find the length of the E. 
so from the pythagorean theorem e e square equal to v square plus e r square minus 2 v e r cos theta minus pi because we want the angle between these two so theta minus pi substitute all the values we can find out the e e is nothing but a counter voltage in a synchronous motor that is equal to 266.18 volts counter voltage or open circuit voltage both are same so gross mechanical power developed equal to mechanical power developed to minus 3 into i2 square ra already we know the value of i i or i2 you take this value here and ra value is given 0.04 and the mechanical power developed equal to 78.512 kilowatt remaining all losses we neglect it just we consider only the stator copper loss now come to the third numerical a 2000 was three phase four four why connected synchronous motor runs at a 1500 rpm the excitation is constant corresponding to open circuit voltage of 2000 volts the resistance is negligible compared to the synchronous reactance of 3 ohms per phase determine the input power power factor torque developed for the armature current of 200 ampere first we are finding the per phase supply voltage 2000 by root 3 that is equal to 1154.7 volts in the same manner the induced voltage in open circuit also given nothing but a counter voltage the induced voltage per phase equal to 2000 by root 3 again we are getting the same value because both are same the impedance drop equal to er equal to i into zs so 200 into 3 we are getting the 300 volts here the motor is connected in star connection so the line current equal to phase current so 200 amps the resistance is neglected so the internal angle is 90 degrees assuming the armature current lags behind the supply voltage by pi from the phasor diagram now we are going to find out this angle pi so e is from this phasor diagram e square equal to nothing but this side equal to v square plus e r square minus 2 v e r cos 90 minus pi substitute all the values we are getting the sin pi equal to 0.26 pi equal to 15.06 degrees nothing but eh, the current lags this voltage by this much of angle now the power factor equal to cos of this angle we are getting the value 0.966 lagging so how we are getting this input power means now you use the formula root 3 vl il cos pi then we are getting this value 669.029 kilowatt neglect the copper losses in armature so the input power equal to output power so the torque equal to this output power divided by 2 pi ns pi 60 we are getting the 4259 newton meter now come to the fourth numerical a supply voltage of 415 volts three phase mesh connected synchronous motor the induced emf of 520 volts the impedance per phase is 0.5 plus j 4 ohms the friction and idle losses are constant at 1000 watts calculate the output power and line current power factor efficiency for the maximum power output first you have to calculate the supply voltage per phase that is v equal to 415 because it is a mesh connected nothing but delta connected next induced voltage per phase that is also 520 synchronous impedance so here it is given in the rectangular form square root of r a square plus x s square we are getting the 4.03 ohm next internal angle theta equal to tan inverse 4 by 0.5 we are getting the 82.9 degrees for a constant value of supply voltage and excitation effective resistance and synchronous reactance the maximum power is developed in a synchronous motor when theta equal to delta now from the phasor diagram er equal to square root of v square plus e square minus 2 v eb cos delta substitute all the values we are getting the 625 volts per phase this is er so the current equal to this voltage divided by the synchronous impedance it gives the 155 ampere it is a phase current now we want to calculate the line current line current equal to root 3 times the phase current we are getting the 
2 amperes. The maximum power developed per phase equal to Ev minus E square cos theta by Zs. This is the formula to maximum power developed in a synchronous motor. Substitute all the values we are getting the maximum mechanical power equal to 45,255 watts. That is per phase power. So we have to multiply with 3, we are getting the maximum 3 phase power. So the output power equal to power developed minus iron and friction losses. Iron and friction losses are given 1000. So from this power, we have to subtract this one, we are getting the output power 1,34,765 watts. The total copper loss, 3 I square RA, I value we know, RA value we know, substitute this value, we are getting the 36,000 watts. So the input power of a motor equal to power developed plus copper losses. So now we have to add the, this value and this value, we are getting the input power. Once you know the input power, then we can find out the power factor. Power factor cos pi equal to input power divided by root 3 VL IL. Substitute all the values. We are getting the cos pi equal to 0 0.89. Efficiency equal to output power by input power. This is the output power divided by the, this is the input power 78.46 percent.